the River Wye, it is a site of special scientific interest. 130 miles long, it stretches from the moorlands of central Wales to the Severn Estuary, much of it running along the Anglo-Welsh border. Key indicators of its health, according to the government advisory body Natural England, show a worsening situation. Yet this new formal diagnosis comes as little surprise to those who monitor this river regularly. We know the wire has been in serious decline. We've seen salmon, crayfish, aquatic plants declining. 13 years ago, Natural England classified the Y's ecological status as unfavourable but improving. Now it's unfavourable and declining. We have uh, a number of contributing factors. Intensive agriculture, uh, water, water pollution from sewage, uh, all of this leading to phosphate entering our river. That phosphate uh, leads to the uh, vast expansion of algal blooms taking up all the oxygen from species that would naturally be using it, uh, the aquatic plants, and then up the food chain to things like kingfishers, uh, otters, uh, our fish, uh, all facing pressure. Just up the road at the Hay Literary Festival, the subject of their local river's worsening condition has been given a platform. But what is causing it? Why is the Y declining? The event is being run by the campaign group Friends of the Upper Y. It is absolutely heartbreaking to live alongside a dying river. But thank goodness the authorities have given it that official status now and maybe will now meet this challenge with the radical urgency it merits. Which they say, as they map an estimated 20 million chickens farmed in the Y catchment area, needs a major focus on phosphate produced by poultry manure. The industry started around North Herefordshire, around the Shobden, Lyons, Hall sort of areas um, and spread out. I think the public really get the sewage problem and the water companies. I don't think they're quite understanding how big a polluter agriculture is and how desperately we need to change our farming model. But of course, to do that, we have to support our farmers. You know, farmings, farmers are not the villains at all. They're locked into this system as well. So you obviously need to enable farmers to diversify into other ways and, and be paid to do that. So we're going to have to figure Figure out how we all fund food for public goods and food that doesn't trash our rivers. Many farmers have lived alongside that river for generations and none of us want to see the river in the state that is being reported yesterday. So it's in all of our interests to make sure that we are providing the solutions to minimise the risk and make sure the, the river restores to health. But we just have to make sure we're doing that in an evidence and science and evidence based fashion so that we're investing in the right areas to minimise that risk to the river. Yesterday, this report outlining the declining health of the River Wye was front and centre of a roundtable discussion in Hereford. There were ministers there from both the UK and Welsh governments, representatives from the water industry and environment agencies, local MPs, local farmers and wildlife organisations too. They were, we were told, pulling together to get a coordinated response. The UK government says it's helping fund farmers to improve infrastructure to reduce pollution, with more inspections, among other measures. The Welsh government highlighted its recent phosphate summit and said record funding was being provided to target pollution activities in the Y, while water companies promise investment. Change is possible. It's going to take 10 to 20 years to recover the Y. As we've discussed, uh, there are, we have the power to do that. But if we don't, we're seeing a river on its knees, a river that is declining, the alarm bells of major species collapsing. The death of the river is possible. It is complex, say Natural England. Water quality in the Y remains stable. So the specific causes for the species declines need further investigation. But when it comes to the state of our rivers, it is another bleak assessment among many.